Hello all, welcome to Let's Learn Optometry. In today's video, we will see what is simple transposition and how it is to be done. What is simple transposition? It simply means changing the lens power from one form to another without changing the optical properties of the prescription. We all know we have both plus and minus cylinders. So with simple transposition formula, we can able to calculate or able to change a plus cylinder form to a minus cylinder form or a minus cylinder form to a plus cylinder form. How to transpose? There are only three simple steps involved in this. First, we need to algebraically add the spherical and cylindrical powers. Then, the second step, we need to change only the sign of the cylindrical value without changing the power. The third step, we need to change the axis of the cylindrical value by 90 degrees. So, let's see an example. Plus one spherical plus one cylinder at 90 degree axis. So, I need to first add the spherical and cylindrical powers. So, if I add plus one and plus one, I get plus two. So, this is my new spherical power. Then, according to my second step, I need to change the sign of the cylindrical value. Now, my plus one cylinder becomes minus one cylinder. Then, the third step we need to change the axis by 90 degrees. So, if the given axis is more than 90 degree, we need to subtract 90 from it. And if the given axis is less than 90 degree, we need to add 90, 90 to it. So, here I have 90. So, if I add 90 to it, I get 190. So, this is my new axis. So, the power now become plus 2 spherical minus 1 cylinder at 180 degree. So that's it. Very simple, right? So let's see a few more examples in the next slide. Few examples. Minus 3 spherical, minus 2 cylinder, 70 degree. So if I add minus 3 spherical and minus 2 cylinder, I get minus 5 spherical. And then I need to change the minus 2 cylinder to plus 2 cylinder. Now the axis, the given axis is less than 90 degree. So if I add 90 to it, I get 160. So the next, next example, uh, plus 1 spherical minus 1 1.5 cylinder at 105 degree axis. So if I algebraically add plus 1 and minus 1 1.5, I get minus 0 0.5. So my spherical power is minus 0 0.5. Now I am changing the sign of the cylinder as plus 1.5. The given axis is more than uh, 90, so I subtract 90 from it and I get 15 degree axis. Okay, now we learned how to transpose. But you may be curious to know why we need to do this calculation, right? So we have some uses of this formula. Let's see one by one. First one. So during manufacturing of spectacle lenses, minus cylinder form is preferred to plus cylinder form. So if we have a prescription in plus cylinder form, we can change that to minus cylinder form. But why minus cylinder is preferred? Because... With minus cylinder, the central thickness of the lens can be reduced. We can reduce the peripheral abrasions also. With minus cylinder, the lens can be made lighter. And minus cylinders are easier to adapt to the patient than plus cylinders. A few patients may have different prescription between two eyes. Like 90 axis in one eye and 180 axis in the other eye. So in that case, we can transpose to any one eye. And we can able to maintain the axis of two eyes in approximately the same direction. To compare the present refraction with the previous refraction. For example, a patient comes to you with this uh, 6 months old prescription saying that he lost his spectacles recently. So that old prescription shows you minus 3 spherical plus 1 cylinder at 90 degree axis. So now you finished your testing and you, you get minus 2.5 spherical minus 1 at, at 180 degree axis. So now you may wonder why the cylinder power is changed from plus to minus with axis variations also. But if you transposed his previous prescription, you get you will get minus 2 spherical minus 1 cylinder at 180 degree axis. So now it tells you that only the spherical power is increased from minus 2 to minus 2.5. So without knowing simple transposition, we may end up in some troubles, right? To find out the type of astigmatism. 
for example plus 2 spherical minus 1 at 90 degree axis so since it, uh, it has both plus and minus we may think that it is a mixed elastic mechanism but after transposing it we get plus 1 and plus 1 at 180 degree axis so it is a compound hyperopic elastic mechanism so we need to all, always transpose a prescription to a uh, plus to a minus cylinder form and minus to a plus cylinder form to confirm the type of elastic mechanism so in an optical shop we can uh, transpose and find the alternative form of stock lens so that is all about simple transposition i hope you find this video helpful Subscribe to Let's Learn Optometry for more optometry and eye care videos. Thanks for watching.